Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to take you diving and snorkeling in the beautiful Red Sea. Hello and welcome back everyone to Amrazul TV. Today I'm going to show you some footage that I shot uh, while I was snorkeling and diving in the Red Sea. I, I, I was there over the summer and let me tell you it is amazing. Like picture the most perfect reef tank in your mind. It's gonna have lots of stony corals, soft corals, it's gonna have uh, wrasses and tangs and angelfish and butterfly fish and schools of anthea and chromis uh, and all of that you're just pictured is essentially the Red Sea. All right, so my adventure started out in the reef, uh, uh, the house reef of the Hotel Stella de Mar. So essentially, we just walked off the shore and, and did some scuba diving. Uh, here is, uh, I think these look like pulsing zinnias or maybe a flower coral. It's a little bit hard to kind of get the idea right on everything. This is a giant moray eel. Uh, these guys could uh, bite, so I, I kind of kept a healthy distance. Uh, but, you know, just kind of amazing seeing this right off the shore. Uh, this is a fun, uh, what is that called again? An Udebronk. I saw quite a few of these. All right, uh, this is probably one of my favorite uh, images uh, uh, of the first dive. Uh, what you're looking at is a school of like minnows. They call them glassfish. And pay attention to this grouper. It's called a coral grouper, sometimes called a coral trout. It's this red uh, menacing thing looking on the top. Uh, sitting on the top and uh, it's just gonna dart out and take one of these minnows down wait for it wait for it it's gonna happen I promise there it is wow what a beautiful fish and it's just perched up on top of this uh, stony mound of, of corals and obviously you see the uh, schools of antheas which is something that essentially you see everywhere uh, these are uh, native lionfish, uh, and here is a cucumber, a sea cucumber. I had one of these in my tank, called it pickles, uh, but this one was like a good uh, eight inches long. And here is an anemone fish, the red sea clownfish. And that was it for my first trip. Uh, the next trip involved taking a boat to uh, Tehran, which is uh, uh, one of the many coral formations they have in Charm, and we followed by these two dolphins. This is what it looks like, kind of turquoise blue water, and the reef is right there. Uh, and uh, the first dive, I think you could go as deep as you want, but uh, for me it was about uh, 65, uh, 70 feet, and you get to see purple tangs in their natural habitat. Isn't that awesome? Like purple tangs. <laughs> I always wanted one of these. And here's a regal angel as well. Uh, this, I believe, is called a cornet fish, and, and just uh, appreciate all of the diversity of corals and stony corals in the background. This is called the half moon angel, uh, half moon angelfish, and this is a bird nose uh, wrasse. Uh, so just note the amazing diversity of soft and stony corals, and like this, th this, these kinds of views are what the Red Sea is all about. Just like mounds of uh, statuesque corals with schools of fish uh, around, uh, hanging around the top. Uh, this is a uh, rich shot. <laughs> uh, these are, there's lots of trigger uh, fish in the Red Sea. This is a blue trigger fish. There's actually a really big, uh, much larger one that I took a picture of. They can't bite, so I, I try to kind of give, uh, give them some healthy space, but uh, kind of beautiful fish. And here is a really cool soft coral that uh, comes in many shapes and, and colors in the Red Sea. It, I think the common, this, uh, I think the scientific name is uh, Dendron Phyta. If you know a common name, please let me know. And then check out this really cool wrasse. This is a sling jaw wrasse. And I'm slow, I'm doing a slow mo here. It's actually like extending its mouth. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. Uh, it kind of telescopes its mouth out to catch prey. Uh, I just thought that was really amazing and it's a type of wrasse. Very cool. And here is a crocodile fish. This is a, a poisonous fish uh, related to stonefishes and, and scorpion fishes. It looks a little bit like a crocodile and it's like super camouflaged. I mean it looks obvious when you look at it like here but, but somebody had to point it to me. And again, lots, lots of colorful, like, I think there was like 10 different types of corals right there. Here's a butterfly fish. And uh, uh, 
these uh, I think they're called fusilier these uh, lovely blue uh, blue things this is a parietes and this picture is just showing you how close so you don't really have to dive the, the reefs are are literally in half a foot of water in some places okay my second dive that day was in Laguna Reef also in Tehran and this is I think one of my favorite dives uh, just imagine like amazing uh, tabling acropora uh, this is a hawkfish a speckled hawkfish by the way kind of related to the hawkfish we have in our aquarium uh, here is a blue uh, spotted stingray but yeah so uh, this place was just amazing for corals lots of diversity and just really cool tabling acropora which you'll get to see uh, also lots of uh, sea fans uh, which are really cool uh, uh, types of corals uh, here's an Acropora and I think you're gonna get a shot at a really cool wrasse. I believe it's a super male of a, a tamarind wrasse. Uh, here, here he is with the lovely blue tail. Uh, I have like a, a yellow tail tamarind wrasse and uh, I think this is either a super male of that species or a similar species. Uh, again just really spectacular schools of uh, fish with groupers trying to hunt them and again this is the purple or the red variety of this uh, soft coral, the dendronophytes. Uh, again, if you know a common name, uh, please let me know. Another kind of giant uh, sea fan, uh, very cool. Here's my diving buddy in the back. He, it's kind of an amazing experience diving. It's like you're floating in water. Uh, wrist shot at uh, 40 feet under. Uh, just again, like statuesque colonies of, uh, of stony corals with soft corals inter uh, intermixed between them uh, and schools of anthea this this view i man just it's amazing just just look at this it's 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 really amazing i i, I have like a mission now to try to get a tabling aquapora uh, acropora and try to kind of recreate this in a tank it's just so beautiful uh just amazing uh, more of the purple uh, soft corals and here's some fire coral on the side so I actually th I didn't know this about fire corals uh, so here's fire coral and parietes and a fire coral is a montipora <laughs> which I thought is really cool because we, we all know montipora I just never knew that uh, fire coral which does kind of give you a nasty sting is a species of montipora uh, this is another coral trout uh, and here is another anemone with the red sea clownfish uh, these guys were a little bit more mellow than the other ones which uh, tried to kind of attack my mask So the next day I went uh, snorkeling in Ras Mohammed National Park, which is a uh, half an hour drive for Sharm el-Sheikh and uh, In my books, this is one of the best snorkeling spots in the world I mean the reef is right there and the diversity of fish and corals that uh, you get to see is unparalleled. I mean, I, I saw more stuff snorkeling in that one day than I did in three years diving prior uh, to visiting the Red Sea. And unlike some of these shady places in the Caribbean where they take you snorkeling in 30 feet of water and <laughs> you could see the reef from really, really far, uh, here everything is so up close. You could like look at the corals up close, you could look at the fish up close, you don't have to like, uh, you don't have to dive, although you know, you can free dive a little bit, but everything is right there. And uh, you know the colors, the fish are just uh, you know amazing. I can't emphasize how beautiful uh, Ras Muhammad is. Here is a couple of butterfly fish, and uh, I think this is a type of a puffer, or, or, uh, possibly called a cowfish. But uh, this this thing was really huge. Uh, and then if if you're able to just kind of free dive a little bit, uh, you see like uh, endless and endless uh, coral heads with uh, and tables with uh, schools of antheas. Uh, around so this this is a beautiful acropora table you can make out the male antheas uh, from the female antheas the males are pink and the females are orange uh, this is a view from the other side and again you know I'm, we're so close to the surface this is like literally like four feet of water uh, beautiful uh, antheas <laughs> as far as the eye could see uh, this is another coral trout I, I really love these guys they're really cool fish uh, <laughs> wouldn't want one in my aquarium. We'll probably eat everything. Uh, here's a Nassau tang. How cool is that? Like seeing Nassau tangs in their, <laughs> in their natural habitat. Uh, really amazing. And then, uh, so uh, uh, Ras Muhammad has several places where you could snorkel. Oh, this is uh, a really cool Napoleon wrasse. It's a huge, huge fish. Uh, 
uh, this thing could be like 150 uh, kilograms, uh, really cool. Uh, lots of uh, clams, and so, uh, oh, here's a, a school of uh, blue-green blue chromis and an acropora. Uh, what I'm gonna show you, uh, so again, we're, we're at the same place, but I think we're gonna shift and, and going from kind of a sheltered area to a place uh, in, in Ras Muhammad, which is called Shark Observatory. And there, it, it's uh, it's really cool in that the reef, uh, the reef kind of extends, 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 and then it drops into the blue really quickly, as if uh, here here is the place I'm talking about. So you see like the reef, and then it's just this lovely blue void uh, where you know you can't see the bottom, and and it's just like it's blue. And uh, the, uh, the views that you get from here, this is Shark Observatory in Ras Muhammad, are, are just kind of uh, mind-boggling to see like corals and as if like somebody cut the reef with a knife <laughs> and you go from uh, like one feet of water to a bottomless uh, sea in, in like uh, in, in no time. It's just it, it, the drop off is so steep. And along the drop off, you, you see lots of cool corals and, and fish and, and uh, if you're able to free dive, uh, you, lots of really cool things uh, are in the crevices and every now and then you spot a turtle coming out of the blue or, or like a school of uh, fish. Here's another like uh, school of minnows that are just kind of moving, avoiding predators. Uh, mesmerizing is, is a word that I'm uh, trying to uh, find here. So after snorkeling in Ras Muhammad, I actually want, wanted to go back and dive there. So I did two dives and the uh, first reef I visited was uh, called uh, Eel Garden and uh, it's famous for having uh, a large population of garden eels and you'll see them in the next shot. Uh, so uh, here, here they come, there they are. Uh, if you look in the background you see what appears to be weeds but these are actually tiny little eels that are coming out, out of the sand and, and catching uh, uh, food. Uh, here is uh, a puffer, uh, a type of puffer. Uh, I think there are many different species of uh, puffer in, in the Red Sea. This is one of them. And uh, here, I believe, is, well, a half moon angel. And I think it's eating Gorgonian corals. Uh, it was uh, having a lot of fun munching on, on, on this. Uh, I, I believe it's a Gorgonian. Uh, if, if I'm mistaken, please let me know. Uh, again, massive fish. Uh, this is a, a tornado, <laughs> a school of fish that looks like a tornado. And my dive instructor, Carolina, who was very strict, she didn't want me to go in the blue and try to chase the tornado. Uh, more examples of this uh, dendronophytes, uh, lovely colors, blue, purple. And again, these just like crazy, a rid ridiculous amount of antheas. Uh, here's Carolina again telling us to stay where we are and not go any uh, deeper uh, Carolina was a very strict <laughs> Instructor, I mean I, I appreciate that Carolina if you're watching I love you, <laughs> but you're really strict uh, Here's a scorpion fish uh, very poisonous uh, a, It doesn't look camouflaged here, but you could imagine if it was like in a rock it would be very camouflaged uh, and again, this this area that had an, a, a really like a lovely variety of soft corals. Uh, here is a Napo another Napoleon wrasse, right? The, this these guys are huge, really really big fish. I, I tried to get close to one. Uh, sometimes they could be really friendly, but this one just uh, didn't want to have uh, any of it. And here is me doing the underwater floss. <laughs> My uh, dive partner was kind of wondering what the hell I was doing. Uh, oh, here is a really mean trigger fish. Uh, I tried to uh, get closer, but you know he turned around and uh, he's kind of flashing that toothy smile. Uh, so I backed off. Uh, here is another giant uh, eel. Uh, this this is uh, called shark reef or a uh, Yolanda. Uh, and this dive was really fun because there was lots of diversity of fish, lots of acropora, but also it was a sight. Uh, here's a stingray. Uh, it was a site of a, a shipwreck and the ship was carrying lots of ceramics. So this is actually a, a toilet bowl with Acropora colonies growing on top of it. Uh, I, I, actually, there was a Montipora. And so you could see all of these uh, uh, like remnants of the ship and, and the ceramics that it was carrying and everything just got in, taken over uh, by the sea. Uh, this is a unicorn, uh, unicorn tank, I believe. 
And that was it. Sadly, uh, I only did uh, five diving, uh, five scuba diving trips, but I did go snorkeling every single day. And uh, you know, if if you've never snorkeled or uh, or never dived, I, I think you should really put uh, the Red Sea and Ras and Ras Muhammad and and Sharm el Sheikh on on your bucket list. Uh, it is spectacular. Uh, I I definitely want to return, and uh, there's just something really amazing and magical about uh, diving uh, and seeing all of the corals and the fish that uh, you kind of dream about. <laughs> you dream about keeping when when you're recreating a, a reef tank in uh, in your home. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, hope to see you around and uh, have a good one.